how the first two games gone for you? Well, obviously the first game we didn't it didn't turn out how we wanted it to turn out, but got to bounce back and with a short week we couldn't really think about that game too much, so had to get right back to work and got the dub the second week, so trying to keep it rolling. What has it been like for you to get in there and get some playing time? It's been nice. Yeah, just trying to do whatever I can to help out the team and really, yeah, that's kind of it. How tough was your rehab, you know, this off season? Yeah, that was a process for me. I mean, mentally, physically, all of that. So, but, you know, it's better than having to wait and just not be able to do anything at all. So I kind of turned my efforts and energy into that rehab side of things, knowing that I can come back better than I left. So. What was the injury? Was it a leg? A uh, torn labrum, so my oh. shoulder. Oh. Yeah. What's it like uh, not having your brother around? It was different the first couple of days, but, I mean, it's – normal now. I mean, I like being on my own and kind of figuring out who I am without him always by my side. So obviously I miss him, but it's good. Yeah. It can't be easy to come off the sideline cold. I mean, when Markel went down, you went into that game in the first week. I mean, what's that like for you? I, w I mean, I did it last year and I felt like I've always been taught to just keep my hand in the game and stay locked in and be ready for my moment. So unfortunately, Kel went down and I had to step up. Obviously, just you get a lot of comparisons to your brother, just what he did here, obviously, and, and just, you know, how do you kind of try to make your own name and, and then be your own player and do your own thing here and, and not try to be, you know, in the shadows and that you're his brother, you know, you're yourself? Yeah. I mean, he's taught me a lot, so just take what he taught me and kind of make it into my own by being who I am as a person and just being myself and not trying to live up to that standard and just creating my own standard and obviously trying to be better than he was, so. Played quite a bit last year, getting a chance to play again this year. Where do you think you've grown and improved the most? I would say overall just my knowledge of the game and with that experience last year, going in a little more confident this year. So that's kind of where I've seen a lot of growth from me personally. You and obviously uh, Tyreek, you know, sharing some time and, and mm -hmm. battling there. What, how, how different are you guys? You're obviously a little different as players. How would you yeah. compare yourselves? Or... Tyreek's a great player. He's super lengthy and he knows how to use that out in the field and on the field. So, I mean, he's been doing a great job, and it's really all about getting fresh legs on the field. So I'm happy to rotate with him, and we're in it together at the end of the day. Maybe you're not quite as you know, tall or long as him. How, how do you attack things differently than, than he does out there? For me, I kind of just have to use my feet a little more and get in position. Cause I can't be throwing my hands, and if I miss, then they're running by me. So just really moving my feet and techniques, little stuff. What are you looking at when you're watching and he's in there? And what are you looking at for the receivers or the plays? And what do you guys say to each other? I'm sure you're giving each other tips when you switch back and forth. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I'll be watching a little bit of his technique to get him tips and get him moving a little better on the field. And he'll be doing the same to me. And then obviously we'll be talking about what we get from receivers and like what kind of releases they're giving us, all those little things. So. It's really just helping each other out for when the next person goes on the field. It seemed like when you got in the New Mexico game, their offense was trying to target you a little bit, and I mean, you shut them down real quick. I mean, does that almost you know give you a little you know confidence and maybe you know getting the chip on your shoulder or whatever when you know they're coming after you? I mean, yeah, plays don't happen unless they're throwing at you, so I welcome it and I enjoy it really. Yeah. yeah. You were you were aggressive tackling this past week. Uh, you feel like that's always been a strength of your game or something that's kind of improved over the years? Definitely improved. I mean, being a smaller guy on the field, and it's really just about angles and leverage and using my um, angles going up instead of running through guys. I'll have to wrap the legs a little bit more. But, yeah, I definitely try to get better at that each week. So how important is that, that, that tackling ability for quarterbacks? Yeah, the line of scrimmage extends all the way to us, so it's – a huge part of the game and nowadays a lot of teams are trying to test the corners with their tackling coming in scrunch sets to make one-on-one -on -one tackles with the running back so it's definitely a huge part in the game. What do you think the secondary did better in game two than game one? Um, I would say overall just our communication being on the same page with one another and being able to just trust that we'll be in the position we're supposed to be in when the time comes. What do you make of finally getting a home game? What is that? Finally having a home game. How exciting is that? Super exciting. Yeah, I'm ready to see the student section and finally be back on the blue. It's been a minute. You know, the whole protect the blue thing is a big deal for you guys. And last year you lost three home games. I mean, how, how 
much emphasis has put on making this place, you know, hard for teams to come in here and win again? Yeah, it's the same emphasis as last year. Obviously, it didn't go the way we wanted to, but watching that and just focus on the next game. So after week one, I know Coach Danielson talked a lot about, you know, needing to clean up some things. How small or, or big were the, uh, you know, the cleaning up stuff after the Oregon State game? There's a little bit of both. I mean, the main thing was really just communication, like I said, mm -hmm. being on the same page and being where we're supposed to be when we're supposed to be there. And obviously tackling and the deep ball a little bit. So, yeah, that's kind of really it.